What is up, everybody? Hello? It's Wednesday, baby. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope everybody's having a great week. Hi, guys. Hope everybody is, uh, has gotten their, um, their responsible and slightly less responsible adult package by now. Um, I know some of you guys have um, emailed me. A couple of them shipped and they broke, of course, along the way, which I assumed that would happen because I'm shipping glass and stuff. Um, so I ordered a few extras. So all the people that contacted me that your orders were broken, those are now being shipped to you. They're on the way. And everybody that there's made it in one piece, cheers. Toast to us, the Wednesday Club. Keeping it strong. This is freaking week 20 of the Wednesday Club. 20 weeks. Oh my God. That's pretty wild. That is, uh, we're almost like, almost half a year at this point. That's pretty crazy. Um, so cheers to you guys. Anybody that has seen every single Wednesday Club, props to you. I don't even think I've, I've seen them all. Uh -huh. Dad jokes. Hello, everybody coming in and waving. What's up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm imagining, I'm just thinking everybody is like at, at home in their Wednesday Club t-shirts with their Wednesday Club, you know, mugs and glasses, just like smiling and um, having a good time tonight. So that's what, that's the way I'm going to. Picture you guys right now, for sure. I know, 20 weeks, it's crazy, right? So, I don't know if you guys saw, probably, uh, excuse me, with the voting, I because today was the 20th week, I felt like that was kind of like a landmark. It was kind of, you know, kind of a big deal, 20 weeks with this thing. So, I decided to uh, kind of scrap the way I usually do it and try to find some weird songs that you know half of you won't even know and you know keep track of everything and, and what, what song hasn't been picked yet and all that stuff and I basically just decided to say screw it it's week 20 let's party I put all the greatest hits of the plain white tees the top 10 songs that we have on Spotify um, those were the voting list and I just let you guys pick so I was assuming you know assuming a few of those would make the list um, and somehow, even with the greatest hits, I know I say this every week, but somehow you guys still kind of surprised me with your picks. It's not exactly what I would have assumed you guys would have picked. So, um, yeah, it's going to be another, another fun Wednesday club for sure. So thank you guys for always keeping me on my toes. Thanks also to everybody that got the uh, the Humans Were Here Halloween t-shirts who ordered those. Um, those should be in my hand tomorrow. So they'll be uh, shipped this weekend. You guys should have them hopefully by, by the Wednesday Club next week. Instead of wearing the Wednesday Club shirts, you guys can be rocking the uh, the Humans Were Here Halloween shirts. So hopefully they'll, uh, they'll all make it to you guys. Um, very quickly and timely. I will do my best to get them out as soon as I get them in. So you guys will hopefully get them real soon. Thank you guys for your support. Um, let's see, what else can I talk about before I play some songs? Uh, I've got a pri another private show this week. The private shows are going awesome. Thank you guys that have already booked your private show. Thank you guys to the ones we've already done. It's been really fun. Um, I'm like surprisingly having fun. Like, I mean, of course I knew I was gonna have fun, but like, I don't know, it's kind of nice to just socialize a little bit. Like, you know, I'm not going to concerts either. So it's like, I don't really see, have those interactions with people. And even doing the Wednesday Club here, it's basically just like me talking. And you guys are all, you know, you're talking amongst yourselves in the comments, but I can't really read the comments. So it's basically just, I'm talking to myself. And no, I know that you guys are out there paying attention and watching me. But the private shows are kind of cool because it actually feels like, you know, you, I can actually see people on the screen because we do it through Zoom. So it's like an actual like 
hang out and conversations with real people. It feels really good. So thank you guys that have already done your private Wednesday club shows. Um, and to anybody that has some booked, uh, like I said, I got one booked this week, this weekend. So that's going to be awesome. Um, if you guys want to do a private show with me, uh, go to humanswerehere.com and you can book it there. Um, along with, of course, pre-ordering your TLB album or, you know, picking up a Fairview t-shirt or a Million Miler t-shirt or a button pack or a Humans Were Here high school notebook or whatever you guys want. There's a ton of stuff on there. So make sure you check that out, humanswerehere.com. That's my record label. So um, for those of you that don't know what the hell Humans Were Here is, that's what that is. Uh, so I'm just going to start playing some songs. Greatest Hits Week. Uh, I'm going to get to the hits. Um, I feel like this song, for some reason, every single time I... Well, I guess all these songs, every time they've been on the list, they've always been picked. Hence, they're the greatest hits. You guys love these ones. But, um, again, like I said, some of these I expected, and some of them I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. I didn't really think that that was going to be picked over this other song that was a more bigger hit for us. So, um, But, yeah, you guys, like I said, always... Uh, <coughs> always Catch me off guard with these, this voting. So anyway, your first song of the night of the Greatest Hits Week on the Wednesday Club is off of the album All That We Needed, which is available for pre-order on vinyl. I can't wait to hold that thing on vinyl. But this is uh, Take Me Away. Here we go. <clears throat> I know we just got here, but I think it's time to go. Didn't want to believe it, but now I know who just walked in and she didn't come alone. I can't stand to see this get me home. Take me away. I'm gonna hurt somebody. Take me away right now. How could she say? Got a hair in my mouth, sorry. She wanted more, you better take me away right now. I thought she was perfect, she thought I was perfect too. Perfect until she found someone new. Stuck here watching her, I can't take this abuse. What does this guy do? Take me away off of all that we needed. Yeah, totally. Hair in my mouth, right in the middle of that song. I like inhaled it. It was like chorus. It was like, take me. <sighs> Hairball. And then I felt like nervous the whole rest of the song. Like, like, wait, is it still there? Do I still feel it? Am I going to choke in the middle of this song? Ah, that's a new one. Never had a hair in my mouth uh, during a Wednesday club performance, so there you go. You never know what you're going to get. Just like I never know what I'm going to get with the voting, 
You guys never know what you're gonna get with the, uh, the live performance. Will Tom remember the lyrics? Will he have a hair in his mouth? You never know. All of the above, probably. <laughs> That was so funny. Okay, good. I never know like when I when I like screw up or like something like that. It's like so unprofessional. I'm just but I'm like in my living room, so I'm like, "Oh, hang on a second, guys. <coughs> Let me get this hair." You know, rather than like like if we were on stage at like the Grammys or something, I'd be like, "Okay, be professional. Play through it. The show must go on." Here I'm like, "Yo, guys, chill. One second. Let me get this." But that's what makes it the Wednesday Club. That's what makes it, makes it fun. We're just hanging out, living room to living room, phone to phone, or phone to laptop, or whatever you guys are watching on. <clears throat> um, by the way, oh yeah, package delivery, totally. Yeah, that one time Amazon came while I was in the middle of it. One time I got a phone call in the middle of let me take you there, I think, and I had to go, even though I had my do not disturb on. So yeah, you never know what you're gonna get. Um, what was I just gonna say though? Um, let's see, I for totally forget, but it's okay, it'll come to me. In the middle of this next song, I'll be like, oh yeah, that's what I gotta say, don't forget that again. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, the next song, actually the next, yeah, the next song, um, this is one of the ones that was kind of surprising because it's, um, Toward the bottom of the top 10, you know, I, I love how I gave, gauge everything off of Spotify as if that is like the holy grail of what our listeners and what our fans love about the Plain White Tees. I know it's a pretty damn good, you know, barometer for that because that's actual, you know, it's actual spins, it's actual listens. So we can actually uh, see what people are going and listening to. But it's like you never know because a lot of those songs, some are on playlists, some are, you know, it's like you never know what the, the diehard fans are actually listening to or what songs you guys love. You know, it's just like a more for the masses. So here at the Wednesday Club, um, apparently you guys are big fans of, you know, drinking out of pine glasses. And uh, like I said, all the Wednesday Club for me, it's all about my phone right there and uh, having a beverage and listening to some, or I guess in my case, playing some awesome music. Um, so that's kind of what this song is about. So you guys must relate to this one. About drinking and, and phones. This is called Should Have Gone to Bed. It goes out to anybody that uh, is having an adult beverage, beverage right now. And especially those in the, uh, in the Wednesday, Cup, in Wednesday Cub Wednesday Club Cups. Jesus, I can't talk. I need to maybe put my cup down. Here we go. Should have gone to bed. I should 
side of the chest of corn to bed I should have turned the lights out Should have called it a night Should have never picked up my phone call If you're not sleeping here tonight Ooh. I should have just gone to bed I should have never called you I should have listened to my head when it said me that Should have just gone to bed I should have never called you I should have listened to my head when it said me that I don't know a few drinks here Here I'll come see you again God only knows what I said I should have just gone to bed Yeah Gone to bed, yeah, 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 yeah. I should have gone to bed. Oh, wrong key. <laughs> should have gone to bed off of the should have gone to bed EP. Thank you guys. Like I said, that one I'm always surprised that you guys always vote for that song. Um, which is awesome. I freaking love that song. Um, but like I said, it's like, you know, towards the bottom of our top 10. It's like uh, not one of the greatest hits. It's like one of the great hits, right? It's not like the greatest, it's the great. Um, so the fact that that made it in the top five kicks ass. So thank you guys for voting for Should Have Gone to Bed this week on the Wednesday Club. Um, cool. So... Oh, that is off of the Should Have Gone to Bed EP, as I'm sure a lot of you guys already know. And this next song. Got the burps here. This next song is also on the Should Have Gone to Bed EP. This is sung by my homeboy, Tim Lopez, who, uh, by the way, we've got a... We've got a, uh, a Zoom call for our me and Tim to write a song. We got someone set up for this week. So um, I know I've told you guys this before, but um, as soon as we get a plain white tea, a new plain white tea song that we all love, I'm gonna debut it right here on the Wednesday Club. So I think that would be really fun to give you guys a new song one of these Wednesdays. So. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna stick to my word on that one. Um, as soon as we get something that we love, I'm gonna play it for you guys here. Maybe that can be like, I don't wanna make any promises, it's not set in stone, but maybe it's like a week 25 goal, right? This is week 20 right here, greatest hits week. Maybe the goal for like week 25 is like new song week, right? Like here's, here's songs for you guys to vote for but only the top four are gonna make it because then the fifth song is gonna be a brand new one. I don't know. Brainstorming, I love brainstorming ideas. So maybe that'll be, uh, maybe that'll be a thing. I just spoke it into existence, maybe so. Um, but for that to happen, we gotta start writing and, and come up with something that we love. So we'll see. We'll see if that happens in the next couple weeks. Um, but anyway, this song is out there and uh, and normally, like I said, I don't sing this one. Uh, Tim sings it, uh, so I'm gonna do my best to do it, do uh, do him some justice here. Um, I did this once before on uh, the Wednesday Club, and I, 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 it took me a while to put it on the voting list because, like, I don't know, Rhythm of Love I've put on the, the list before, and I've sang that one. I've, I've actually done live in concert before, like if Tim had to miss a show or something. Um, so that, and that's Rhythm of Love is such a big hit for us. It was like, we've got to play that one. Whereas Giving Tree is like slightly, you know, again, it's like one of the great hits, not necessarily the greatest. Um, but I got to say, singing it for the Wednesday Club, the last time I did it, uh, you know, it felt pretty good. It felt really cool. And it's such a beautiful song. Um, so again, thank you guys for voting for this one. Uh, I'm going to do my best to um, make Tim proud. And um, hopefully you guys will dig the version with me singing. This is, uh, again, off the Should Have Gone to Bed EP. 
This is the giving tree. there towards the end but but I got through it that was the giving tree normally sung by Tim Lopez um, off of the should have gone to bed EP Woo! <laughs> so thank you guys very much for that pick I love singing um, I love singing Tim songs because it's kind of fun it's like different because I don't usually sing them so pretty cool um, cheers time cheers you guys Sounded great, Tom. Oh, awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, it's funny because me and Tim, I don't know, we sing. I think it's funny because I can, I think we have kind of similar voices, but at the same time, we have very different voices, too. So it's like, um, like it kind of works, us singing each other's songs, but at the same time, he's kind of got a different different vibe to his his stuff, so... Like I said, it's fun to, um, to to sing one of his songs that I normally don't sing. It's like, okay. Rather than trying to sing like him, it's like, oh, I'll just do my own thing and sing it how I would sing it. So so that was The Giving Tree. Um, so let's see. What else? What else is going on? Uh, everybody stoked for Halloween or what? Um, we, I, I haven't put up... I, I have these Halloween decorations that every year I put up just on the inside of, of the house. Um, there was this one thing, this like little hanging like skeleton thing that Lennon, my son, used to be like so scared of because he would like push a button and it would like shake, you know? And I remember when he was like just a little guy, he would like, he was always like super scared of it and like wouldn't go by it and stuff. And it's like now it's like he doesn't even care and nothing phases him. Um, it's it's uh, it just funny to think back um, you know, you know me, Mr. Nostalgia. So I'm always thinking, 
thinking back to all oh, those times were so cool. Um, but my point is, is that uh, I haven't put up my my uh, Halloween stuff yet. I gotta do that. You know, it's like the time is going by so freaking fast. I feel like it was like, oh, tomorrow's October 1st. Crazy Halloween time. And it's already today. I don't even know what the date is. Um, is it the 9th? The 8th? Something like that? 7th? I don't know. It's already, it's already feels like it's close to, <laughs> you know, a week away from Halloween. I know it's not, but it's going to go like that fast. And all of a sudden it's going to be Halloween. And then it's going to be Thanksgiving and then Christmas and... I don't know, 2020, man. Crazy, crazy year. Um, but yeah, so um, speaking of Halloween, uh, my other band, TLB, actually is releasing a brand new full-length album on Halloween. Um, so if you guys don't follow TLB, follow us on Instagram at TLB Kicks Ass. Um, because the album is so fun. Uh, it's, a, it's like a punk rock band. It's kind of like the Ramones. And a lot of Plain White Tees, especially our early stuff, um, kind of has that pop punk vibe to it. You know, that's how we kind of came up. Um, so TLB is just kind of an extension of that. I write all the songs with the singer Darren and uh, produce it and stuff. And I'm actually the drummer in the band. So it's really fun. It's like a fun outlet for me to get, get that, you know, stay connected to that punk rock vibe. Um, so you guys got to check out TLB for sure. But this next song is actually for Plain White Tees on that pop punk side of the band for sure. Um, this is the first song off of our album, Every Second Counts. Um, and again, also one of our, I guess, greatest hits. Um, but again, I don't know. This is song four already and we haven't heard any of the big ones and you guys actually you know because we, we post lonely september was the big winner so i'm about to play our time now so that means i played take me away should have gone to bed giving tree our time now and then lonely september so in the greatest hits week you guys did not pick hey there delilah rhythm of love or one two three four which are by far and away our three biggest hits so you guys, I, I couldn't believe it when I saw the, uh, the voting results today. So like I said, again, thank you for keeping me on my toes. Always like surprising me with these picks. So, um, so yeah, here's your fourth requested song of the week. This is our time now.
hard time now off of the album Every Second Counts. Oh, thank you guys. That's always a fun one to play. That one's a fun one to play with the band because then I just sing and I'm jumping around and stuff. Um, but hey, again, since we don't have live shows going on, this is as close as we can get, okay? I'm trying to, uh, when I was playing uh, Take Me Away, I felt like I was like kind of bouncing around a little bit in my seat here. So you just gotta have fun with it. Um, you know, I can just, it's almost like when I was like younger, you know, you, you dream of being on stage, right? Like I'll like practice my moves in, in my bedroom mirror, right? Like, oh, someday I'm gonna be on stage. It's almost like I have those same dreams now. It's like <laughs> someday I'm gonna be on that stage and there's gonna be an audience there. Like it's almost like as wild of a dream as it was back then when I was a kid, which is kind of sad, but I guess that's just uh, the reality we're living in. And boy, is it gonna be so sweet when uh, those dreams come true and that becomes a reality, right? Could you imagine how good it's gonna feel when we're like at a freaking venue and I'm on stage and you guys are there and we're like actually looking at each other and experiencing this all together with hundreds and thousands of other people and, oh, sounds crazy. It sounds absolutely like a dream, which, man, it's pretty awesome if you think about it, that we lived, you know, we're in the middle of this life that has been so amazing. Um, you know, like the fact that, you know, we were able to do that all the time, like that's pretty badass, you know? Like rather than being like, oh, we should, I miss that and life sucks right now. It should, you should think of it as like, man, we were pretty damn lucky. Like all that fun stuff we used to do, like, I'm sure we're gonna be able to do it again and it's all gonna get back to somewhat normal. But man, pretty kick-ass, the life that we've all led so far. So cheers to that, you guys. Cheers to uh, awesome concerts that we've all been to and hopefully, or, or you know, a lot of them we've been to together, seeing the Plain White Tees. Um, but yeah, pretty special that we got to share all those times. And like I said, I know we're gonna share them again someday and in the meantime, we're sharing them through, through um, technology. Thankfully, we have this opportunity to even connect still and do things like this. So pretty badass. So yeah, appreciate all of it. The past, the present, and of course the future for sure. All right. That's my optimism for the day. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to do one more song for you guys. This is your most requested song. Um, of the week, and again, I feel like every time, I feel like this is the third, maybe even the fourth time in these 20 weeks that I've played this song, and um, <clears throat> I feel like every single time I've put it on the voting list, you guys have, it's been like your number one choice. So again, so crazy that out of all of those songs, like I said, Hey There Delilah, number one global freaking hit, Rhythm of Love, one, two, three, four, major hits on the radio you guys chose this batch of songs and your number one choice was a song that's never been played on the radio a song that at the time we sold like 10,000 albums of you know touring across the country for three years selling our albums we sold maybe 10,000 of them yet somehow mixed in with all of those big hits that we've had this is your guys' number one pick. That is pretty badass, and I guess that's just the power of a, of a, of a great song. It's like, it doesn't matter if it's on the radio, it doesn't matter uh, if it has some label putting millions of dollars behind it. If it connects and it's that good and people like it, then it's gonna live a life of its own. And this song is definitely a testament to that, because like I said, it's had no push or nobody, no none of the machine, as they say, you know? has been ever behind this song. So the fact that this is your, your number one pick of all the Plain White Tees hits is awesome. Let me take a sip of water and then I'm gonna do my best to play it great for you guys. All right. Off of the Stop album, this is uh, a lonely October. I mean, you know, a lonely every month since quarantine. <laughs> lonely September, here we go. I'm sitting here all by myself Just trying to think of something to do I'm 
Try to think of something, anything Just to keep me from thinking of you But you know it's not working out Cause you've all that's on my mind One thought of you is all it takes To leave the rest of the world behind oh. And I didn't mean for this to go As far as it did And I didn't mean to get so close And share what we did And I didn't mean to fall in love But I did And you didn't mean to love me back But I know you did I'm sitting here trying to convince myself that you're not the one for me. But the more I think, the less I believe it, and the more I want you here with me. You know the holidays are coming up, but I don't want to spend them alone. Memories of Christmas time with you. Sitting here trying to entertain myself with this old guitar But with all my inspiration gone, it's not getting me very far I look around my room and everything I see reminds me of you Oh please, baby, won't you take my hand? Got nothing left to Say you didn't love me back Cause you know you did No, you didn't mean to love me back But you did A Lonely September off of the album Stop Your number one requested song this week on Greatest Hits Week of the Wednesday Club, you guys chose A Lonely September as your number one song. So thank you guys so much. Um, thanks for hanging again for another awesome Wednesday Club. Um, let's see. Let's do some private shows. Humanswerehere.com. Let's hang out, you know, on the weekends. Um, Humanswerehere.com. All the merch and everything is there. Um, and just thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, like I said, me and Tim are going to start writing some Play My Tease stuff. I've already got some stuff written that I haven't shared with the band, actually. 
So maybe there's already a song there that they're gonna love, but it's about to, uh, to get into, into that time where we start writing and sharing some ideas. So like I said, as soon as there's a song that the band loves, I'm gonna debut it right here with this guitar on the Wednesday Club for you guys. So um, keep, keep posted for that. And um, let's see, I guess, um, I don't know. Everybody enjoy this week, have a great weekend. And uh, everybody hope get into the Halloween spirit. I'm gonna decorate my house. Maybe maybe next next week there'll be like a little skeleton sitting next to me or something. I don't know, I'll, I'll have to think of something cool for this little frame to make it a little Halloween. I'll throw something in here. Um, but yeah, until next week, love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, if you, uh, I've sent out the, the, the new, new shipment of the pint glasses and the mugs, so look out for those. T-shirts should be here tomorrow, so those will be sent to you guys. Uh, so thank you all for supporting me and my crazy drops and all that stuff with Humans Were Here. And uh, yeah, love you, be safe, and uh, see you next Wednesday. Bye guys.